Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I, I'm back again. This one will probably go up actually before the other one. I'm not sure. They're going up a lot faster now these days. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Anyway, uh, pull my shirt down. All right. Now, um, this is a word that Aubrey got from the Lord this morning. As with all words, brothers and sisters, take it to the Lord uh, yourself. Um, if, you, if you don't believe it or even if you do and you want confirmation or a number or whatever, what people do to confirm it, uh, the Lord will in various ways. All right. She says, um... I got a word from the Lord this morning concerning what is going on. He told me he is allowing coronavirus to spread globally for purification purposes. He confirmed with 38, meaning purification. I thought when I was seeing 38 and 39 together, it was for Ezekiel's war. But it's for, quote, purification, quote, and then she put in quotes, disease, unquote, that he has allowed this to get people to face it's for purification for the disease, from the disease, perhaps, that he has allowed this to get people to face their mortality. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. To face their mortality, to put them in a position to choose. I've been praying it's, that it will turn many back to the Lord or to the Lord to start with. He has allowed this to try to turn the hearts of the people back to Him. He revealed to me the true disease here is sin. If people will repent and turn to him, he will heal them of this disease and heal their land also. The true disease here is not the one that only kills the body, but it is the disease of sin that at the end of our earthly lives consumes us and destroys us with the second death. We should fear not that and those who can kill the flesh or the body, but God who can destroy both. So, yeah, that's a scripture. Fear not the one who can destroy the body but fear the one who can destroy the body and the soul to hell. Or however it's ended. I'm not sure how it ends. Something like that. The Lord has been showing me 17 and 27 together for a while. So I looked them up in scripture and was led to Acts 17.27, which confirms what he said as well. It says, God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. And then there's a quote, or maybe that was, oh, okay, okay, that was, means end quote. 
So God did this. He, she's quoting the Bible. Verse Acts 17.27. Okay. Although he is not far from any one of us. Unquote. These are the last days. And the majority of people are not waking up to the truth. He is trying to shake us because he loves us. The tribulation is casting its shadow. It's time to get, quote, harvest ready, unquote. Whomever may not believe this word, please always take it to the Lord. Love your sister, or love you, sister. God bless. God bless you too, Aubrey. Thank you for sharing that. And, um, yeah, I, I believe that. This is, it's the end. We're at the end. And, um, I mean, have you ever seen such a thing? A global pandemic. The president's talking about shutting the whole country down on Monday. I got to find that video about uh, what I saw. Them going underground and letting the National Guard take over. I got to find that and get it put up next. So I'm going to end this one here. I plead the blood of Jesus over it and over myself and my computer and my internet connection and over each and every one of you and all of your devices and your internet connections so we can stay connected until we're out of here. Okay then, bye for now. Talk to you later.